trying to go through my uh my notes because sometimes when like when i do the light talks and stuff sometimes i'll have like i'll be in church and i'll think of like the idea or you know what i'm saying what i want to say on the you know what i mean the camera or whatever and then like as soon as i get on the camera i would just be like damn i forgot what i was going to say or uh you know what i mean because most of the time i try to go up top of my head i don't really like to write down stuff which I'm starting to do now, so I don't forget why, you know what I mean? I don't forget points. Cause I know most of the time, like when I'll be doing live talks, like <laughs> in my head, I'll be wanting to talk about, I guess the, something totally different. And then I, on camera, I'll say something that then kind of, you know what I mean? I guess the, it, it's still, you know what I mean? It's still a good message. I feel like, cause every time I'm doing these videos, I believe I'm feeling uh, like I'm being led to speak on it. So I know God ain't just going to be stranded or, not bring to remembrance of what I need to say or what I want to say. But I wanted to write it down because I was in church and it kind of just clicked on me for real because uh, today what I was going to talk about is really kind of the same thing that the pastor had preached today. And it kind of like, I guess, goes over. Like, you know what I mean? In the Bible study, he was basically talking about touch and agree. When two people touch and agree, it comes to pass. And not just somebody just coming up to you or Y'all just agreeing like, oh yeah, you your business is gonna pop. Or, oh yeah, oh yeah, it's gonna, you know what I mean? You're gonna be straight, like God got you. You know what I mean? I know a lot of times we say stuff like that. And shoot, uh, most of the time, bro, I feel like we always, we like this, we always do that. I don't I don't even know why. Like even to myself, I got caught up. And like sometimes we'll be, I guess somebody will have a business. So it's like somebody will have, you know what I mean? Trying to do something on their on they, on they part, trying to make money on, on their brand or something like that. And we would just be like, and just keep going, bro. Just, you know what I mean? You're going you're gonna to do great, bro. Just keep putting God first. Like, we'll say stuff like that and we'll agree with him. Like, we'll agree that his brain going to pop or his business going to pop. But, like, we don't do stuff that, you know what I mean, enhance his business. We don't do stuff to help. We don't do stuff to, you know what I mean, like, to bless him more. Like, that's the main thing what he was talking about of people touching the green. And that's kind of what I was going to speak about, too, though, a little bit, like, really like just from just from him saying that it kind of goes over to loneliness so i feel like loneliness is loneliness is kind of two parts i feel like it's the good loneliness type like the good loneliness i'll say is where god takes you out of the, all the old things that you so used to and he trying to like move you into the next spot so in that spot where you at you're gonna become lonely like that's just what it is like you're gonna go through a lot of stuff you're gonna feel like you the odd man out you're gonna feel like it's like nobody uh, understands you. You're going to feel like nobody might even like you. You're going to feel like people don't think you crazy because you're not doing the normal. Like you're just going to feel like everything just kind of going downhill. And that's how I kind of felt, to be honest. Like, especially when I started like first walking with God, bro, I feel like I was so used to like doing the normal stuff, doing uh, just everything, just to keep it a butt. Like just a lot of, a lot of wrong stuff. I was just so used to it. And it was like, as soon as I got out that comfort, as soon as I got out that comfort of like being in the same thing for so long, like I was like, yo, this is weird. Like, I don't, hold on, I don't, I don't like this, bro. Like, I don't like the, bro, it was to a point like when I was walking with God, when I start, first started walking with God, like he gave me like, I haven't had peace like that and I don't even know how long, bro. Like, it was at first when I was walking with God, I ain't to be keeping a bubble child. I, I didn't know what I was doing. I didn't know how to spend time with God. And I was raised up the right way on it. Where do I start from? What verse do I read? I'm like, bro, like, how do I even go about this, God? I'm asking him. I'm like, shoot, do we talk or like, do we this and that? So when I'm spending time with him, like, the first time it really wasn't, I be keeping a buck. I really was frustrated while I was, you know what I mean, spending time with God. Cause I'm like, why do I keep going through all this stuff? I'm you know what I mean? I'm going, I'm asking him why me, why me? You know what I mean? All the questions I feel like a lot of people ask. And like, as soon as I got out that phase and then, bro, when you start spending time with God, bro, I'm telling you a hundred percent, this ain't no for fate. The man would change your heart to a point like it get like, it got, it scared me because I'm like, man, I, I don't even like, that man would change your heart so much, bro, and you would peep. Like, it would be stuff that you would normally get irritated at or get mad at. You like, man, I ain't gonna let that fade me. I'm finna show love. Like, I'm not even gonna let that, like, you see your heart changing. And that's why I, I started to get to it. Like, once I got to that phase, I started to be like, I wouldn't even say scared, but I was more so to a point like, yo, like, I don't like this feeling. Like, I'm so used to like bad stuff happening to me. Like, I was at peace, bro. Like, 
I was real deal. Like, that's the first time in, a, I don't even know how long, since probably like 2007, bro, that I've been at peace. It was when COVID went down and I was spending time with God and I wasn't thinking about nothing else. I literally cut off all thoughts. Like, dead for real, I was to a point like I cut off all thoughts of worrying about basketball, worrying about COVID, worrying about getting this, worrying about doing this, worrying about, I cut off everything, bro. And I was literally just going into my closet and I was spending time with God. Like I was like, like locked in to trying to hear his voice, locked in to like, just seeking like, you know what I mean? Seeking peace, bro, to be honest. And, and when I got that peace, I felt uncomfortable. Like, I'm like, bro, this ain't it, bro. Like what's crazy is I went back to, you know what I'm saying? The old me, cause I was so uncomfortable at having peace cause I haven't had peace in so long. So when I had it, I'm like, bro, I don't like this. And I know it sounds so crazy, but I'm telling you how I was thinking, bro. That's just what it was. Cause I was so more, I was always on like, I gotta do this for my mom. I gotta do this for my family. I gotta do this. Like my parents at the house, they, they going through this. I can't, I can't rest. I can't this. I can't. So I was always on go. My mom was always on go. So like, I always had that conscious worry of them going, like, I always tell y'all this, because I was at that constant worry of, like, what's going on at the crib? What's the woo-woo? Like, I was having, like, just every thought you could think of, bro, just going through while I was in college and all that type of business, even in high school, even in, you know what I'm saying, middle school. So I was doing that for so long. So when God gave me the peace, I'm like, whoa, like, I had to sit back and, like, yo, like, I do not like this. Like, and I'm telling y'all the exact truth that what it was, so... That's basically what that lone that that type of loneliness is is when God is, and just to kind of go back to it like loneliness. That's the good good type of loneliness is when you're in that phase where He's trying to change your heart, He's trying to mold your heart, He's trying to show you what the real you is basically. And then there's the other loneliness where I feel like this day and age, the generation, and I, I only like to say generation because it makes you seem old. You feel me? But like we in this part where it's like. We so much like to like, like just F everybody. Like, I don't care. Like if you don't like me, man, F you. Like, you know what I'm saying? I don't like you or whatever. I do this on my own. I get it on my own. I don't need nobody. Like we built that up in this like generation so much that everybody in this world is on it. Like I'm talking about it's on it, dog. It's like nobody rocking with nobody. Everybody in their own bubble. Everybody not talking to nobody. Nobody wanna express their feelings. Like we in that phase right now, bro. And I'm telling y'all because I was in that phase. I was in that phase. Not saying I didn't care about nobody, but I was in a phase of, I, I'm gonna do this on my own. I don't need nobody help. I've been doing this on my own. Like, and I was doing that since, shoot, for forever. I just wanted to do it all on my own. Like that's just what it was. And it's just not the move, bro. Like it's not the move at all. And I say that because Jesus, bro, my pastor say Jesus had 12 disciples. I'm saying, and Jesus was lonely sometimes too. He was, he had best of both worlds. He went to go, you know what I mean? Spend time with his father. He went to go, uh, you know what I'm saying? Fast and pray. And then he will come back to his disciples and he'll be showing love to his disciples, forgiving his disciples, teaching them the ways. Like that's how it should be in this day in life and age. It shouldn't be go, go be lonely and not talk to nobody, not help nobody, not show love to nobody, not and that's why I'm trying to tell y'all to not, not, you know what I mean? Help nobody businesses, help nobody help each other. It shouldn't be like that. It should be that total. And I'm trying to get, I'm still trying to get out of that phase. Cause like sometimes I'll catch myself and I'll be in a, I guess a spurt of just, you know what I mean? Doing things on my own. I want to say no much. I want to say too much. I'll just be working on my own, which is not a bad thing. But sometimes I'll have to get out of that phase. I'm like, dang, I've been by myself a little bit too long. I didn't, you know what I'm saying? I need to. I mean, just just go kick it, kick it with folks. Go ahead, you know what I'm saying? Chop it up with people or go speak to people. Go do whatever, you know what I'm saying? I do spend time. I ain't going to sit here and say, like, I don't spend time with folks. Or I just, I be out the way all the time. But I'm just saying what I, uh, what sometimes I have to catch myself. And I'll, you know what I mean? I have to, like, even in church sometimes, I'll go to service and then I would just sit a little bit, you know what I mean, let, let the server soak in and I would leave instead of, you know what I mean, talking to people, talk, you know what I'm saying, asking how their day was, just little stuff like that, bro, like, and I'm and I'm saying that because basically uh, a lot of people I feel like deal with overthinking, a lot of people deal with, you know what I'm saying, loneliness, a lot of people deal with a whole bunch of stuff, overthinking, worrying, stress, anxiety, bro, I'm telling you, I'm going to tell y'all the cure, like, I'm going to tell y'all straight up how I dealt with literally 
all that stuff. Cause y'all, look, I ain't, you feel me? Like, I know I be, you know what I'm saying? Like, I'm confident right now. Like, everybody has fears and stuff, but I be trying to, you know what I mean? Be uncomfortable. I be trying to face fears. Like, that's how I am right now. But I ain't always used to be like that. You know what I'm saying? So when y'all see me right now, it's not the same person how I was back then. It's totally different right now. So when I tell y'all how, like, how basically I changed or basically I molded to where I'm at right now, and I'm still not where I want to be yet, you feel me? But that's where the fight comes in. That's where the battle comes in. But basically, like, like the deal with all that stuff, bro, I'm telling you how I dealt with it. First of all, spending time with God, putting God first. And I know a lot of people going to be like, oh, he wanted them again or he's talking about God. But I'm telling you, bro, that's the main thing that, that helped me out from the start. And then once I did that, then I constantly kept seeking God. He said, seek him, seek him. I constantly kept doing it. So when I when you seeking God, bro, I'm telling you, God be massaging your heart. So you start your heart start getting like, you know what I'm saying? You just start getting clean. Your heart start getting different, bro. I'm telling you. Then once I started to do that, bro, I started to I started to have a, a I've always cared for people, but I'm saying like a, a care for people. Like man, people are hurting in this world. Like man, so many other people are going through worse than me. Like. Well, like who, you know what I'm saying? I still have a story too, but I'll be thinking about all this stuff. Like, dang, so many other people are going through so much other stuff. So I've started to keep the, like, take the eyes off myself and start putting it on other people. And once I started to do that, bro, I'm telling you all stress, all worry. I start doing things as in like, and this ain't no brag. This ain't no, and I don't even speak on this stuff. And this is probably my first time even talking, talking of this on this channel, but like, just little stuff as in like, like the other day I went to Dollar Tree and I, I already knew for a fact it was God. Cause this is my first time I ever thought of something like this. And it was to a point in, cause usually I just be going in the, in the store and I be going in and out. Like I don't really be thinking too much. I don't be, I just, you know what I'm saying? Get my stuff going in and out. But as I'm in line, like I see the, uh, a kid and a mom, like just grabbing toys from Dollar Tree, bro. So it's like, they were just grabbing toys from Dollar Tree. So like in my spirit, I just, I just felt to pay for their stuff. So, and I, I don't want to, bro, I'm telling you, like, and I know it's the spirit because as soon as it, I, I got I got it, I'm like, because I kept looking at them, like, they, she going all out. Like, she digging in her purse. She trying to find coins, dollars, just to buy toys from Dollar Tree, bro. And I was going in to get water, and I'm like, all right, bet. So, while she bringing out the wallet, whatever, I'm like, you can put her, you can put her stuff with me. And then it just, it just really just made her day, bro. Like it, it literally made her day. <laughs> like she kept saying, thank you so much. I needed this. Thank you so much. And it's just like something as simple as that, bro. It just made me feel good for the entire day. Like I was satisfied. I was good. I ain't care about nothing else. I ain't care about like, and it's like just stuff like that, bro. It started to take me like, once I started to take my eyes off myself and started to really like start caring for other people, start helping other people. It's like, bro, all that other stuff. I'm like, bro. It's bigger than me, dog. Like, God trying to use me to reach other people, bro. And I'm telling you, I'm telling you, when you do stuff like that, and it come from the heart, and it's bigger than just doing it just because you want blessings, but I'm telling you, God rewards that type stuff, bro. And I'm telling you, when I was in COVID, when COVID went down, and I was in my closet spending time with God, bro, I prayed this prayer. I literally prayed this prayer, and I prayed it from my heart. I prayed it from my heart. I didn't care about no, no fame. I didn't care about, I wanted all, because I used to, like, you know what I mean, I used to pray. You know how the world is, bro. It's like you praise money. It's like you want all the money in the world. I'm not saying it's a bad thing, but praise and money so much that we just don't care about nothing. That we don't care about people. Don't care about nothing. Nothing else but money. And that shouldn't be the way. And I'm not saying money is bad or the root of money is bad. It's just the heart behind the money. And my pastor be preaching that a lot. He even preached that today. But I literally prayed this prayer. I, I love my brother to death, man. That's my boy, dog. Like, I'll do anything for him, bro. Family, I'm big on family, man. I'm big on my dogs. I'm big on being loyal to my family. I'm big on all that type of business, bro. Like, I say, God, will you bless my brother before me? That's what I said. I said, God, if you would you bless my brother before me? I, I prayed that prayer at least two or three times in my closet. But yeah, the other, the other prayer I said, God, use me the way you need me to be used. And that's the other thing I prayed. And when I'm praying these prayers, bro, I ain't just, just speaking in and just not caring nonchalant when I was in it. Like when I was praying and that time I was praying, bro, I was praying from the heart, like speaking from the heart. Like that's just what it was. And bro, I'm telling you ever since then, bro, and ever since those things, bro, it's kind of like things just started like going crazy, bro. Like y'all be seeing my channel, bro. Like I'm telling you, I'm not giving, it's no praise to me. I, don't, I ain't sit, I ain't finna tell you, I'll keep it a buck with you. I would never have none of this without God. And I'm telling you that right now, this ain't no just social media type of quote. It ain't none of that. I literally would not have none of this without God because I'm telling you, 
I didn't want to do YouTube at first. I, I did YouTube after I, was, I started spending, spending time with God, like literally afterwards. I like video and all that type of business and Instagram and fit pictures and all that type of stuff. But being on YouTube and doing all that stuff, I really wasn't thinking of it as much. Like I really wasn't thinking on like that to be keeping a buck with y'all. Like once I started spending time with God, bro, it's like the idea started to come up. Then it started, you know what I mean? I'm like, oh, damn, I could do YouTube. I got a bit of follow. I'm like, all right, shoot, let's go do YouTube. And then, woo, started doing YouTube. And then at first I was doing YouTube. I was doing it still the, like the world's way. I was doing, I did a prank before. <laughs> I already took that video now. I did a prank. I was doing, you know what I'm saying? Just just really just fashion. I liked, I liked it a lot, but I'm like, like I like fashion, but I'm like, I'm saying like, I just, I just want to be me, bro. So, and I'm talking about me all around. So when I did, when I said that and stuff, it's like, I just started doing vlogs. I started being myself. I just recorded when I want to record. If I didn't run a record, I didn't do it. Like, I just started doing that. And then, bro, started doing, you know what I'm saying? Started clicking, started whoop, whoop. And that just, it just went crazy, bro. Like, it just went up so fast that, like, I can't even say it's me, bro. Because the same, like, I started from so, like, so late, bro. And it ended up so fast. Like, I'm about to touch 100K, bro. Like a hundred thousand followers on YouTube, bro. Like I can't even I can't even take no glory for that at all. Like I'm still doing the work God giving me the, you know what I'm saying? I ain't gonna sit here and say I ain't doing nothing, like, but God done did that, bro. Just back to it. I just feel like I, honestly, bro, I feel like what got me out of that, that loneliness, that worrying, that overthinking, all that type business is I took the eyes off of me. And I'm telling you hundred percent, like. And that's coming from me, bro. I don't think a lot like that's coming from me. <laughs> Feel cold for like it's coming from me, bro. I don't even think I would even, even in college, I don't even think I'll be able to just speak about God like freely like this. I wouldn't even want to. I'll probably be thinking like, man, these folks gonna think I'm crazy, or these folks gonna think, oh, he he like he he different, or you know what I'm saying? I just will be thinking like that. So I don't really care. What, you know what I'm saying? What he say, she say. Cause at the end of the day, like, like God made man, God made women. He the creator of all of us. And everybody go through that phase of caring what people think. Like even in college, everybody try to impress and everybody woo woo. You know what I'm saying? So what got me out of that phase? I'm like, man, God created man, God created women, God created this whole earth. He created everything. This ain't no brag or nothing. He chose y'all too. You know what I'm saying, brothers and sisters in Christ. You know what I'm saying? But I'm just saying he chose me. Why would I care about what the world would say about me? If the creator is the one helping me, the creator is the one that made me. So why would I care about what anybody else say? You know what I'm saying? So I keep that in my brain 24-8. And that's what keep me. That's what helped me with that too. But definitely, bro, I'm telling y'all, will help with, you know what I'm saying, social anxiety. It will help with all this other stuff, bro is you got to take your eyes off yourself, bro. And you got to start, just start helping, helping your, helping your brother, man. Help. If you got somebody in your family that's doing a business, you know what I'm saying? Help, help them. You know what I'm saying? Help, help them like it's yours. You know what I'm saying? Agree with your brother and sister in Christ. Be able to agree with your family member. Be able to agree with, you know what I'm saying? Just whatever somebody else idea or whatever they doing, man, just be able to touch and agree with them. Don't just say, oh, no, nah, you're going to be good, bro. Keep grinding. You know what I'm saying? I used to do it all the time too, bro. But be able to, you know what I'm saying? Help support them. You know what I'm saying? Help help do something with their thing so they know that's like, okay, yeah, he touching the green. Like, he 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 with me. You know what I'm saying? Because you don't never know, bro. That person could make a million dollar business and you was the one that helped them and he want to give you a million dollar offer on just doing something so simple just because you helped them. Because, you know what I mean? That just, that just, you just don't never know, bro. Being able to give, being able to bless others, like, be able to show love to other people, bro. I'm telling you, when you do those things, bro, God rewards those. And it's not about just all rewards. It's not about none of that, bro. It's when you keep the, the right heart when you give, the right heart when you love on people, the right heart when you're doing these things. And just ask God to keep. And if you don't feel, if even if you're doing it, you don't feel right or you feel at, like irritated doing it or you feel a certain type of way doing it, just ask God to clean your heart every time you you know what I'm saying? You praying. Ask God to change your heart. Ask God to change your heart and pray about it every time. So when you do those things, you're going to have the heart for it. You know what I mean? And I didn't want to come in here and talk too long about it, but I probably was all over the place with it too, man. But we're going to keep getting better, man. That's another thing. It just I'm just speaking, dog. I'm just talking from, you know what I'm saying? Just from what I've been through, just what's going on, bro. And I know a lot of people ask me, like, how I even got on this phase or how I even got to 
the switch. I'm gonna tell my testimony too soon, bro. I don't ever like talking about dreams and stuff, because I know people be thinking folks are crazy. Woo, woo, oh, folks, Bert had a dream, but I don't really care. It is what it is, but COVID went down the time where I was uh, talking about talking about when I was spending time with God. Like I was going to the closet every, probably every hour for for spending time with God, like seeking Him. I had had a dream. Uh, I was on a balcony. You know, on my left side, it was uh, it was people like dancing, like listening to you know what I'm saying. I'm gonna just call it worldly music. Listen to worldly music, and they was like, you know what I mean? It was just hood, just focused from the hood, just dancing and stuff, and like just on on top of the car just wilding out like just partying or whatever and i was like low-key like bopping my head too like bopping my head too like yeah like these folks going you know what i'm saying these folks going crazy and uh crazy bro this dream was crazy bro this is when i was going in and out like like i was going in and like off and on like, i'm like i know i should be doing something different but i was doing the wrong thing and this when i was in the world and i was just doing you know i'm saying i'm not saying i was perfect but i'm not perfect still to this day but like, I'm just saying, like, I was just dancing, like, in and out. I was doing a, just wrong, doing the wrong things I know I shouldn't have been doing. And uh, what's my call? And I looked to my right, and someone tapped me on my shoulder. And I looked, and it was my mom in my dream. And, bro, it was a crazy thing. I just knew it was my mom. I couldn't I couldn't see her face, but I knew it was my mom. Like, I just knew it was my mom. But she didn't say, hey, Phil. She didn't say nothing. She just said, choose this day who you going to serve. And then I woke up. And after that day, <laughs> I started bawling out, tears, crying, everything, bro. And it was just confirmation. I'm like, yeah, God is real. Because <laughs> I was going back and forth, back and forth, back and forth. Like just going the world's way, going, trying. I know I should be doing God's way, going the world's way. And after I do it, I'll be feeling awful because I, I did that. And that dream just woke me up, like literally at my seat, bro. I, I didn't go to sleep bro, for the rest of the night. I was just thinking like, like, what am I doing, bro? And that's that's when the fight started, bro. I was like, and even after that, I was still going back and forth. But I, every time I every time I would do wrong, I'm like, I will feel so crazy. Like, I feel so awful. I'm like, bro, what am I doing? Like, I'm tripping, bro. Like, it, just, it always brought me back to that. It's true as day who you gonna serve. And that's, that's just what it is to keep it real, bro. It's simple as, woo, like, just choose this day who you gonna serve. And I think we all gotta get to that point too. But I didn't wanna talk too long, bro. I know, uh, again, I was probably all over the place, man, but that's definitely, I just wanna tell y'all, just show y'all what I was thinking on the day. You know what I'm saying? That's why he life talks. I don't really, shoot, I ain't no preacher. You know what I'm saying? To be honest with y'all, I just be going off the top of my head. So I ain't just gonna sit here and say, you know what I mean? I give a topic, I'm just gonna go, you know what I'm saying, talk about the whole thing. I'm just going on the top of my head, how I'm feeling, and just gonna send it y'all way, bro. And that's just what's going on today, bro. Yeah, man.